Direct Edge, the newest fully electronic stock exchange in the United States, responsible for almost 10 percent of all stocks traded every day in the U.S. Bill O'Brien, Direct Edge CEO, live at CNBC HQ. Good morning. Good to see you. You too, Mark. Have the machines created a more dangerous environment? Not necessarily. I think the stock market isn't different than, than many other industries in the United States, which over the last 10 to 20 years have been transformed by technology. And it's making sure that we harness that technology productively uh, for the benefit of investors while making sure that old conduct, which has always been prohibited, um, cannot be executed on in, in newfound ways. Here at the New York Stock Exchange, almost since the get-go, <clears throat> back in the 18s or 1700s or whenever it was, there have always been uh, people called specialists who are responsible for trading in certain stocks. And it was their job to stand there and make a market no matter how bad things got. Who fulfills that role now? And if no one does, doesn't that by itself create a more dangerous environment? Well, I think you need to have realistic expectations about that because no one can be compensated to make up for buying when everybody is selling. It didn't happen in 1987. It didn't happen in 1990. It didn't happen in 1929. So there is a role for market makers, whether they're called specialists or they're using high frequency technology in normal times. And in many ways, the move towards higher frequency technology has in some ways democratized the ability to get into that business. But I think what we have to put as a backstop to that system is a set of measures like the circuit breakers we implemented since the flash crash to make sure that things don't spiral out of control in a way that could potentially harm investors. Bill, this is a, a really basic question, but just sort of as a regular person, I, I have this, still don't understand why when we had one exchange where everybody could see what everybody else was doing, whether machine or person, sort of beside the point. Now we have these dark pools that banks have and we have guys like you and we have exchanges everywhere, different prices everywhere for the same security. Things seem more confusing and less transparent as a result of all this innovation. Why, why is it not the right way to see it? Well, because you're talking about the simplicity of a monopoly, which is more simple, but you usually have less product, less innovation, and less competitiveness over the long term than a truly competitive environment. It does require, it definitely requires traders, and to some degree requires investors to work a little harder to make sure either they or their brokers are using the right technology and making the right choices to get the best price in any one individual trade. But if you look at many metrics, the spread between the best offer to buy and sell, the broad variety of ways to get trades executed, the speed in which even the average American or investor can get them done, uh, it's gotten markedly better over the last okay. 20 years due to technology. Thanks so much. Appreciate your taking the time. Man versus Machine continues. Go online and more reports coming up over the next couple of days. Next, China saying one thing about its currency.